The search for that grandmother wanted for the killing of her husband as well as the woman with the misfortune of looking like her is now focused on Corpus Christi, Texas, called armed and dangerous by police. It is feared that Lois Reese has changed her appearance again and may be trying to cross the border into Mexico. The nationwide hunt for the silver-haired grandmother who police say is a cold-blooded killer intensified today. She's on the run and we need all hands on deck to bring her to justice. 56-year-old Lois Reese is a chameleon. Her hair has been brown, blonde, and silver. She was caught on a restaurant surveillance camera befriending a woman who looked like her in Fort Myers Beach, Florida. Reese allegedly murdered the lookalike and stole her identity. This is Lois Reese, and this is the slain woman, 59-year-old Pam Hutchinson. See how similar they look. Now, Pam Hutchinson's family is speaking to Inside Edition. She was very friendly and outgoing, um, hated being alone herself, so therefore she was always reaching out, making everybody feel comfortable, very hospitable, very welcoming, um, just a really friendly, easy, approachable person. Terrace Wolk and Daniel Jeffries are the slain woman's cousins. They say Pam kept in touch with them via Facebook during her stay in Fort Myers, posting these photos and writing, Fort Myers is hopping. She wrote she was going to local hangouts and having a fabulously good time. On the very day she met Lois Reese, she wrote, I'm staying another night. She decided that she would stay one more day and um, that turned out to be a change of her life. Surveillance camera images show Reese leaving the apartment after allegedly shooting Pam to death and driving away in her car. She drove 1,300 miles to Corpus Christi, Texas, and police fear she may have crossed the border into Mexico. Reese ran a children's daycare center in Minnesota. Police say she shot her husband, David Reese, dead at their home last month, then went on the lam, stopping at Diamond Joe's Casino in Iowa to feed her gambling addiction. Court papers obtained by Inside Edition show that she allegedly misappropriated $80,000 from her sister Kimberly, who is disabled. Here it is, this lady's just giggling and laughing and smiling, thinking in the back of her mind, oh, you're going to be my next victim. You will work out perfectly well for me to kill you and take your identity. I mean, that's just sick.